Welcome back to Project 128. Today we're going to be showing you our final step for our uh, small scale crafty bed. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you here how we put the liner in and then how we you know, put our top on and our step pots in there. So uh, the first thing you're going to need is we have our finished box. We're going to need two pieces of lath at 48 inches. We have two, they're going to be our you know, long sides, two pieces at 13 and a half inches for either end. We're going to need our one inch screws and uh, you're going to need your plastic. You're going to need a razor for the end for trimming everything out. You're going to need, again, your drill, screwdriver, uh, whatever you need for putting in your screws. We want to make sure we do pilot holes when we're using the lath so we don't split it. Um, first thing we did is we took our plastic and we measured out and we cut a piece about 66 inches long. And then since we're doubling this, we uh, went ahead and had it at the fold and doubled and we cut it about 32 inches wide. That's going to give us plenty of space to take this plastic and fill in our box. We want to make sure the first step we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and put a piece of lath, put the plastic in, put a piece of lath to hold it on our long side, one of our long sides. If, you, if you're doing a uh, four by eight, four foot by eight foot, you could probably do it on the four foot side, probably make it a little bit easier for you um, doing that. But you want one side on first to hold it in place as you're pushing it in. Now with a small one, if you're doing a large one, one of the things that works best is like just like doing a pond or something, you're going to want to go ahead and fill it with your water once you kind of push it in to help it really seat. Since this is only holding 12 gallons, we're just pushing it in with our hands. Um, it, if you go ahead and put 12 gallons in here, you know, you're now going to have something that weighs close to 100 pounds, and we want to be able to move this easily, put it where we want it after we're done building it, then fill it up. And um, then again, if we have to move in the future, it's a lot easier just to remove a little bit of water and to move this is a lot lighter. And again, this is a small scale bed takes up a lot of a little bit of space compared to a four by eight foot one. And again, here's our first step. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put this out. We want it to extend on both sides. And I'm going to pull it out there at least you know, six inches on either side. And here we're going to go ahead and we're just going to fold this down. We're going to take our first piece of Lath. Now with the lath, a lot of times what you'll see too is that they may be warped, they may be bent a bit. So play with it. When you when you get your lath, kind of look at it real quick and see which side is even. Because if I put this one down, there's a little tiny bit of a bow to it. And so if I put it here, there's a slight bow in the middle. But if I flip it over to this side, this is kind of a straight side to it. So that so again, when you're working with lath, one of the things you want to do is, is just make sure that uh, you've got kind of your smooth and straight side going to the top. And again, with our pieces here, we cut them a little bit longer because we're going to have these end pieces here. So what I do is I just hold this here, make sure I have the first one in line with that one. And I can set that aside. And I'm not going to do every one of these, but again, what you want to do is you want to do your pilot holes. Don't go all the way through, just enough to go through your lap. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to screw these in. And I've done about six screws on um, each of the long sides and either two or three on the short sides. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish putting this in and we'll be right back with you. Okay, we have our first side piece on. Um, so what we have now is we have our plastic um, just connect it to one side. Sometimes this this part here, it's better to get if you have like a second second set of helping hands. You got somebody to help you out to kind of stretch it and push it in there. But again, I'm not so worried about it being neat and looking, you know, perfect. Uh, what we want to do is protect and hold our uh, our solution in here, our nutrient solution. So once we have that end, we're going to go ahead and push it in. We want to make sure again that we left enough overhang over here for our sides. So. We got our box and we just kind of tuck it and you know if you have to fold it a little bit to get it to fit in there nice. Biggest thing you don't want is you don't want this to be off the bottom by you know a, a big margin. You want it down as tight as you can to the bottom. And so once you have that, you want to go ahead and we're going to fold over our side. Leader. Again, the other thing you can do is if you're by yourself, you can always like tuck in a size, use some duct tape, put it on there to hold it down as you move across, and that makes it a little bit easier too. 
But the best thing is if you've got somebody else to help you, they can hold one side while you're working on the other side, pushing it in. And then you go ahead and we're going to take our next 48 inch piece of lath, smooth this out, and we're going to put that on this side over here to hold that in place. Okay, now that we have our sides on, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to take our razor and we're going to just trim off the excess. And what I did on that first side I put in is I kind of put the edge right where my lath would be so I didn't have to worry about trimming that side. Uh, again, um, this is a little bit looser than what we've done some of the other, other ones in the past, but when you're trying to do it on your own, um, sometimes you just can't get it as snug. So again, use some, you can use some duct tape to hold it in place, or again, the best thing is if you have a second pair of hands to really help you hold that in there as you're working on it. But again, using a razor, be very careful, keep your fingers out of the way, and you just want to take it right on the edge of the lath and just run it across. There we go. And that cleans that up really nicely. So our next step here is we're going to take our top, and that's out of our foam board that we showed you how to cut, and then we have our whoop, 12 um, two-inch net pots, and we just stick those down to the lip. Now the two-inch net pots, um, they're really great for if you're using the um, quarter cubes or rock wheel cubes because they drop right in here and you don't have to worry about um, putting any leaka in or anything else to pre for your rooting. They'll just drop right in and they fit in there pretty snugly. So there we have that. Our last thing we're going to do is, is whatever your nutrient that you're using, we're going to go ahead and mix that up and you put that in with 12 gallons of water, put your top on, drop your plants in and start growing. Um, over here, we have a couple beds that we uh, started. These are microgreens. We've already been harvesting them. We harvested uh, some even for dinner last night. One of the things we found is we actually put these in just on a couple of cinder blocks. It's a little bit low, um, so we need to get some other shelving. We're going to raise these up to the window because the ones that are outside getting more direct sunlight and more light, um, even ones that are on the north side um, of the house outside, they're getting a little bit more sunlight than these are, and they're growing a lot better. So, and they're using the same solution. These were using the, uh, the mix with the master blend. One of the things I want to point out is if you make a mistake when you're drilling, you can see even we make mistakes sometimes. Okay, even I make mistakes sometimes. So what you're going to do, save the plugs uh, until you're done with you know, cutting your board. Because what I did is I had a little mark here and it was for my line that I was scoring across. But when I was drilling it out, I was just going straight on through hitting these little marks and I missed the one that was here to get them evenly spaced. So all I did is I just put the plug back in there and I used a bit of this foil tape and just put a piece on the top and a piece on the bottom. But if you don't have that foil tape, you can go ahead and just use some duct tape again. And just put it on top and bottom and there you go. That repairs that hole that uh, you mistakenly did. So again, if you have any questions, feel free to send them. One thing I want to point out again, do not drill all the way through. You just want to drill through your lath when you're starting your pilot holes. And I don't tighten these screws all the way down. You don't want to go through and puncture your plastic. And again, we're using one inch screws for this project to help prevent them not going through and puncture our plastic. Again, if you have questions, please go ahead and send us any questions you have. We're more than willing to help. If you have suggestions, feel free to send us uh, suggestions or if you have anything constructive, please go ahead and submit those to us. Like us if you want and uh, go ahead and uh, follow us on Facebook or on our blog. Uh, we have a new website now. I'll go ahead and I'll post that um, for you on the end of the video. And uh, we'll see you next time. And until then, happy gardening.